Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Kelly and today we are going to be giving you just some quick tips when it comes to photography with your item. So the first thing you need to remember is that your items are not able to be touched and felt like they would be at a typical craft fair. So we need to be able to show the customer your product and show it in the best way possible. So the first thing I recommend is to go out and purchase either like a white foam board, like this one. Um, you can find them at Target, the dollar store, Walmart for under a couple bucks. Um, the one I had was a little dingy, so I actually like to paint. So I had just a white canvas hanging around and this actually worked for my example photos I'm going to show you. So that's another option if you have one lying around. Don't need to spend a lot to take good photos. So the first thing is to check your background. So in this example photo here, you'll see that I had my subject, which is this cute uh, bowl from a local pottery shop. And you can see that the background is messy, it's distracting. So using either your whiteboard or making sure you just have a clean backdrop is going to be super important. We want the person to be looking at the product and not your background. Next point is check your lighting. If you have incorrect lighting, it can make your product look darker in color or even lighter or washed out in color. So for example, this is the bowl that I used in my photos. If I had darker lighting, this would look more gray or darker blue. If I had it too white and washed out, you wouldn't be able to see some of this detail pattern, patterning that's going on here, or it may look like an even lighter blue. So when your person gets the product, they may be disappointed because it wasn't just the right color that they were looking for. The best lighting to use is just good old natural lighting that comes in through your windows, or if it's nice enough outside, you can go outside. Use that whiteboard as a background, have your, have your product next to a window, and snap some photos. In these example photos here, you'll see that I actually had this on the side table in my living room and just put the background, the board behind it. And I had a window right there and was able to snap these photos. And I thought they looked pretty good for just using my iPhone. And I don't have the newest iPhone, it's a couple years old. And just what I had on hand. The next thing you wanna make sure to format your photos correctly, you want to crop them to a square. Our website and most other online websites, it's best if you actually have your product cropped into a square. So be sure to keep that in mind when you're taking the photos and when you're cropping them. And last but not least, make sure that you're taking photos of different angles and different like up close and far away. An example of this would be Maybe you have a blanket. Don't just take photos up close so people can see your stitching. Have that blanket laying over a couch or a chair so they can see how it folds and how it lays so that they can imagine it inside of their home. Something that I didn't do in these photos, and I should have, is taking a little bit more detail photos of the bowl. I did it, of course, as you'll see here, and you can see the inside of it, but maybe I should have taken something a little bit closer to show, look at this cool drip pattern, something like that. But again, don't just have one photo, have a couple. I would say have three or four per item. People don't have a really good attention span online, so if you have like 20 photos for one product, they're not gonna look through them. So make sure just do a couple, you know, one of it, like this bowl, sitting on somebody's table. And then I wanted people to see the inside, to see the patterning on the inside. But then I probably should have taken one to show the patterning a little bit more close up too. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. We will be having more photography content and other content coming up in the future. Please leave any comments below with questions, comments, or even things that you have found that have worked well for you and maybe they'll be featured in a future video. Have a great day, everybody.